Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kevin Eastcape Skiffs. Behind me, a brand new 2016 Lossman. One of the oldies but goodies. I always say it all the time, nothing fishes better than a Lossman when you shut the key off. And what I mean by that is the stability, the draft, the storage, the ease of pulling, how quiet it is, how easy it hops up on, uh, hops up on plane. It is the most stable skiff and shallowest skiff in an 18 foot class. Can't get any shallower than that without going to a 100% flat bottom boat. So anyways, let's talk about this boat. This boat is gonna stay in the East Coast Central area. This is going to a Shane Ryder. Shane uh, went out with Captain Justin Price, fell in love with the Lostman. He also owned a Vantage, but he realized that his fishery was more localized and he wanted to go after that whole site fishing 100% pure uh, redfish on fly and light tackle. So what you're looking at is what his interpretation is of meeting his needs. So starting at the bow, removable trolling motor, offset cleat. We also have the aluminum trailer, by the way, from Ramlin with a blackout package over it. This is something you don't see very often, but you might start seeing it more, obviously, as we get forward. Um, still the oversized uh, jack stand and winch. Coming back, what a Lossman is known for, huge storage. The tank actually comes out of the front hatch. We were one of the first skiff companies to start doing that in a design element. Um, he has a little fly tack pad on, on the gas tank. Then we have, just like the Fury, the Lostman has the same layout. We actually have what we call the glove box. This can be dry storage, wet storage. You can insulate it if you want it as a cooler as well. We have the center console uh, cut down and measured to where he wants. By the way, notice that fit and finish, guys. We also have the insulated jump seat as well. He does have an all grip package in this boat. All the, lock, all the latches are key locking. It's something really nice. He has powder coated to match, which is beautiful by the way, the uh, rod holders and grab handle. He has the flush mount Simrad unit. He has the jack plate right here on the throttle. The removable V-Marines uh, push pull holders. We love that by the way. And again, going back to the trailer, he did do the blackout aluminum, but he kept the wheels, the mags, and the standard polish. So it looks really good. And as you can see, there's a ton of storage. And like all of our boats, you can get to everything on it. So, so some companies have finished parts and all you see is this nice stuff, but you can't ever get to anything. You can always get to stuff on our boats. So you can see how nice and clean everything is, how big as well is. Going to the back, we have the uh, pulling platform matching as well as the other aluminum on the console. The welded rod holders out. This is what he wanted. And by the way, we have in-house welding. Uh, we've had that for years. Um, power on this is gonna be the Suzuki 60 with a jack plate. He did want the power pole set up, ready for him to go. He has the Atlas mini jack plate, um, three door glove box, and as you can see, it's clean. So not only is the boat clean on the outside, it's clean on the inside in areas that you'll never see. Easy to work on, and most of all, we're priced in the middle of the market. So if you guys are on the fence looking at boats out there, and there's a lot out there, and there's a lot of good builders, we're not gonna talk anything bad, but nobody's like us. We're right in the middle, but we do more and offer more than anybody else. So, best part of a sandwich is in the middle. That's where we are. So anyways, 2016 Lossman coming to the lagoon. If you guys happen to see this, walk up to it because I say it all the time, pictures and videos don't do it justice. And the guys that work here love what they do. And we have a very talented staff. So y'all take care. Peace. Thank you. See ya.